Okay, so this one. I'm going to call this one. Shit, what do I want to call this one? <laughs> I'ma call it bio and adopted. Bio and adopted. Bio. Yep. I have two daughters. <coughs> a twelve year old who is my biological daughter. And a fourteen year old who I adopted from my first wife. <laughs> wife. Mm, their mm, their mm. mother and mm, I mm, mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was complicated. Stuff. Yeah, because he adopted it from <laughs> first, so it wasn't his. Yeah. Hold on, wait a minute, it's done. <coughs> Hold on, okay, yeah. never mind. You I have oh. two daughters. Yeah. <coughs> a twelve-year-old who is my biological daughter, mm -hmm. and a fourteen-year-old who is adopted mm -hmm. from my first wife. You got that? But he with another wife now. No, don't, don't let her go, lady. Okay, all right. You're a smart man. Their mother and I are divorced. I remarried to my current wife. We gonna call her Karen because I can't think of no other name right now. Uh -oh. right. Oh, so we're doing bio. So for names, we're doing bio, adopted, and Karen. Okay. After getting overwhelmed with work, and their schedules, I started asking Karen to handle daily and weekly expenses, including taking the girls <coughs> to the mall and buying what they want. I always make sure my credit cards are full and ready, especially when she tells me in advance what the girls need. I have realized recently that Bio has bought quite a lot of stuff but adopted has not. I try having conversations with adopted about it and ask her if the mall her stepmom takes her to is not good or does she not like the stuff she finds there. She refused to give a direct answer. I didn't push it, but let her know that I was always there to hear her. After five days, I was at work. And adopted sent me a 37 minute long recording of her trip to the mall with her sister and her stepmom. I listened to it after getting off work, and what I heard was unexpected. I heard adopted telling her stepmom that she liked the backpack and wanted it, but Karen's response to her was to tell her that there wasn't enough money. Adopted insisted, saying that she knows Karen has enough money to buy the backpack. Karen told her she still had to buy stuff for bio. Adopted insisted, which made Karen snap and tell her, why don't you go look for your bio dad and ask him to buy it for you if you want it so bad. I was shocked. I stopped the recording right there. I couldn't get listening because of how upset I was. I immediately rushed downstairs to where Karen and both of the girls were. I asked the girls to go upstairs and went off on Karen about what I found out. She kept denying saying it. So I had her listen to the recording. She then said she didn't mean it that way and that her words were obviously taken out of context. I berated her for treating adopted like that and told her that she gets whatever the F she asks for regardless of who her father is. I then went and revoked all access to Karen that Karen had to my credit cards, every single one of them. Mm -hmm. She found out and blew up, saying that I was being unfair after all she's done to help me out in this situation. I didn't want to hear it, and she kept yelling, then went to her, then went to stay with her sister. We haven't spoken to each other since that day. See? Wrong, because this should have been out the rip. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> you know, I wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Both of y'all go first. Listen, I'm going. <laughs> I'm just, I was like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, who else win? Is our house? 
We don't matter. That's it. We out of here. This guy ain't even going to cause. It sounds like he handling shit. It sounds like it's his house. His no. house. Oh. It's his house. He oh. said he get full access. I listen to so it. So if it's his house, listen. Hey, adopted one, you want to get back? <laughs> you hurt your feelings, you want to get back? <laughs> Go in there and pack this stuff up. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, go on, don't fuck around. But, the kid, like, but that's your bio too. Nah, just the g- Karen, the only one leaving. Oh, yeah, well, you know. Or just pack her stuff up. Yeah, bio cool. ain't got nothing to do with it. That's it. Gun, but she gonna, she gonna start that shit about, she going me too, so we gonna have you on ready. Nah, just in case. Too- the first two kids from the first, first wife. wife. They ain't got nothing to do with this Karen. His, and one he took of, the one that the first wife well, had and, he, and adopted. He, uh, and somebody got to go. So Karen got to go. Karen got to go. Because, let, let me tell you. Today. Yeah. Immediately. Immediately. Bitch, that wasn't even your job. To as soon as I would have heard. It your started. money. Man, as soon as I would have heard the recording. Nah. But see, at the same time. Let's go be all. That was favoritism on something that ain't even hers. Right, like you know who's what I'm you to decide anything? You're just here. That They're here get to stay. What she get when he said take them yeah. both, and they both here. Exactly. He got them both. So if you go up there and buy and everybody he, the same thing, both of them the same thing, you gonna buy both of them something. See, see, man, I'd have kept. See, he, nah, I wouldn't. He ain't got no big old dick. Well, something because I tell you, fucking what, you should have. Yeah, let us stay that with our sister. Even, that wasn't even. That wasn't even hypnotized. You know what I'm saying? That one even can't, uh, Casey can't even play. Cause I, I, know how long I had something married. similar to that in like, dang, dang, dang. I'm like, oh yeah. Bitch, please. <laughs> yeah, all I, right. Boy, don't point her out nowhere. Hey, please. who sent I you? Then, then you think like that? <laughs> who sent you? I'm, I, I got to go. I feel you. Yeah. Hey, baby, you heard this bitch right here? <laughs> what she said? You don't I like hope her. the fuck she did. Yeah. Are you crazy? You don't like her no more. I know that, right. Hey, man. You, cause I didn't, cause he didn't even say how long they were married, like how long he knew about yeah, the fourteen year old, like how long they've been adopted. He, but but he loved that oh, baby God. enough he he to adopt her. That's what I'm saying. He said he got two daughters. Then he told how he got them. Exactly. So I be like, man, she gotta go. She's out the door. Hey, wrong, don't man. talk to her anymore. Who, Never let it go. So they, they say they, when you go get your old fine ass old lady, and she got them kids, and they saying we'll package deal. That's what you niggas got to start preaching. We'll pack same shit. Throw same it back shit. Out. Fuck it right. Throw it back in. We'll package deal. Absolutely. And you don't do pack. more for one than the other. Everybody, let like, me. Them, this one ain't this one ain't gonna wear Nikes and that one wear pro wings. Like, oh, nah, no. we don't do that. I don't know. You might dodge a bullet on that one. That one might need to slide. And um, huh? that bitch need to be uh, begging and apologizing. And I feel like if she don't, that should make it much easier for you to let that bitch stay at her sister house. Cause now it's like you did nothing wrong. Man, like, yeah, stay and, and, and the little girl fourteen. Hit the road. Cause not Sorry. only would you have to forget her, yeah, Charlotte don't you come by? Get her. Now no I feel like she should be rushed don't to come do back. that shit. Exactly. Uh, no circumstances. So don't yeah. come back. I hate yeah. that you already married. We got a new yeah. stepmom over here next week. Get yeah. the fuck. <laughs> like yeah. I'm gonna play the recording in court. He gets nothing. Now I know no judge will let. Anybody treat these kids like this. Yeah, I just want to leave. That's and so. then we're going to go on and handle our business. Yeah, yeah, yeah he might get your boy. You might get her ass on that one. I swear to God. Yeah, that's some go. bullshit. You see, she don't do for the kids. Why you going to get Nah, they with me. I want alimony. <laughs> nah, she, right. They his nah, kids. she ain't got nothing because she using all my money because she said he maxing the cards up. Listen. Uh, she don't do nothing. But hey, take people in shopping. the ideal world, all that should be established way before in advance, and you would catch shit like that before you connect yourself to somebody spiritually and legally. I don't know that, uh, but uh, yeah, fuck that bitch. Like she crazy as hell. Them kids know, are twelve man. and fourteen. Like I train home. Cause that let you know right how drop, drop, really drop, roll. You know what yeah, I'm that's how once she you, feel. Once you get I'm the knowledge of a Trinidad, person, Jane Cole, really fuck feel, that bitch. You can really <laughs> never change your right. feelings about it. Right, we talking about a backpack and clothes. Yeah, baby girl in a couple baby. years gonna need a car. Then she going to fucking college. Yeah. Then you, she you gonna move hating like, on her right this, now. You know you finna fight with this bitch for slick. the generation. You know that? Slick. You're slick because if she wouldn't have been recorded, she would have never knew. 
You know what I'm saying? She would have right. never recorded it. He, Daddy would have never knew. She wouldn't say nothing. She wouldn't tell. She just showed him. Like, you know, she ain't never tell her that he did it. Yeah. She was doing it. She just recorded it and she, he heard it. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Then had to say, baby, then oh. had to say, a good job on baby not having to say a fucking word. Exactly. You know, that was, I'm, listen. You did it wrong, bro. Listen. Hey. Man, that lady's wicked. Karen, hey. that's why I'm I don't know what to say. That bitch gonna have to apologize, suck some dick. I don't know. Nah, man, ain't no I coming back listen, from that one, I don't man. think it is neither. You Cause play you gotta with my make baby. that shit right with the baby girl. And they gotta go. I don't feel like baby girl. Cause next I ain't do that. I'm gonna whoop your motherfucking ass. Man. And he teaches. Yeah. And he teaches his daughters who not to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With a real boss. Do yeah. don't act like you this, or you get the you boot. Y'all cold. 14 and 12. Your daughter you got learn to it. know that you believe wholly and fully that that was some bullshit, and you not with that shit at and, all. And like, your daughters know it's all about you and not that woman. That Cause if you let that slide, and she don't, rec- you asked her, she recorded it. And then you let it slide. How you think your fourteen year old adopted daughter gonna feel? Right. You know what I mean. How you think that person you adopted that you love gonna She'll feel? Go kill all you mother. What? Right. No, go kill the school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause the first the nigga step out of you line outside of that house, cause they took me in. They, I ain't gonna hurt them. But the first nigga step outside of this house in school, Real. Wrong. pow, bang bang. Oh, my man, my <laughs> shot me down, mm-hmm. bang bang. I hit the ground. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's how it's gonna be, Bullshit. man. Cause they, you can't ball it up for so long. It's gonna explode eventually. Yeah, you ain't wrong. Fuck that bitch. Or have a heart attack. Chill one, out with your babies. You finna be busy anyway. Happen. And a whole bunch of shit happen between you twelve and out. fucking eighteen. You finna be busy. Fuck that bitch. They cost a lot of money anyway. It's one less bitch to be like. Hey. So my next one, I'm gonna call family and friends. Close family and friends. You ready? You walk over there. I own a printing company that I run with my wife. Her husband came to us and wanted us to do all the signage, banners, guest books, and life-size cutouts, etc., for her wedding. We do this all the time for friends, weddings, events, and we never charge them. We're happy to help out, and it's usually a lot of fun. A few weeks before the wedding... Her wedding planner tells us that they need all the items by X date so they can set it up for the wedding. At this point, we hadn't received our wedding invitations and didn't even know when the actual date was. My wife texts her and tries to clarify when the wedding is and if we missed the invitation somehow. Her cousin replies and says, oh, we downsized the wedding and we decided to have like a close family and friends thing and that we didn't have enough space they didn't have enough space for us in the small venue my wife and i were pretty hurt and insulted on top of it the cost of what we provided for her would usually be about two thousand dollars just on materials her cousin and the wedding planner kept making tiny revisions to the artwork had us print samples and reprint them all of that would have cost money as well and we're a functioning business, business, so we had to either delay our other orders or stay late and print her stuff on our own time. So I went ahead and billed her for our cost <laughs> and said we needed payment before delivery because I'm not going to chase her for payment for months and years after the wedding. We're not making money on it. I just charge her for the cost of the materials. So far, we've gotten threatening calls from the cousin, her fiancé, some random members of my fam- wife's family that I don't even know, some of the groomsmen, etc., mm-hmm. essentially calling us assholes. After the harassment, I'm considering charging full price. Are we wrong for sending an invoice? First off, did they sign a contract? Nope. Probably not. They said they would then, do that shit anyway all the time. Then you just got, they just got beat out of the court because they said, well, you didn't do it for free. You just got in your feelings. So now you in your feelings, and now you want to start charging them for it because they, you're not big enough. I mean, if you was going to give it to them for free before, hey, man, give, go ahead and give it to them and let them, let them do what they're going to do. You're not invited. You chose to do that. You said it. We usually do this for free. Ain't that the exact word they did? It. They, that was the beginning of it. So when you say that, for free. when you say that, you can't really, unless you're going to give it to them, 
if they choose not to use it now, you don't owe them nothing. But then they like change the shit a little bit because they made apparent that they wasn't close <laughs> friends and family. Yeah, exactly. Like they so, 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 they so, were so, feeling so, a certain so, type of way. So don't get me. You can just discount because we supposed to be people. Right. But you, you ain't telling me that I'm not invited no more. I'm saying it's cool if you told me that look, we're going to downsize. You ain't invited until now. I got to charge you a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just saying. You dude. tell them, you tell them face to face at that moment, know but you don't just go and then just start sending e invoices. You don't start slinging invoices when a nigga wasn't expecting the invoice. You know what I mean? You should have said that off the gate. You should have said that when they said we downsizing. Yeah, you should have been like, well, you know, I'm a charge for it now. A favor and give you a gift that's equivalent of two thousand dollars should be allowed to come to your wedding. And if so you listen, so no, 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 no. I said it should look, be allowed, look, look. but I'm giving. I don't you think you should charge. I, I think that we people, we family, or whatever. But you know, some people think they closer than. But you, you treat me like me family because. I had to ask you, like, what the fuck up? What the invitation? You know what I'm saying? Then you tell me that I ain't in the way. So it's some more people. I'm just, I'm just a nigga. I don't just see some more people in here that ain't providing no 2000 You know what I'm saying? Over me. So what I would do, I would say, bam. So if it cost me 2000 Plus, we had all this shit, pick all this and all this over shit and all this over shit. So we had, what, about 20, let's say we had 2,600 involved. I'm going to meet you down in the middle with that shit because I said right. it. And he said he didn't charge them that. He charged Cause them Because I said it. So we. You gave him $2,000. less than what, saying, we don't know. It's I'm saying if it's 26, oh, no. if it's 26 and I got treated like that, it was because of my word. 18. Now you got to meet me down in the middle. I'm still gonna spend some money on your punk ass because I said it, but you treated me like I wasn't family, so okay. now you gotta meet me down the middle. So if you wanna meet me down the middle, I can I can respect that. Go to hell. I can respect that, but I feel that you had to say that to him when he told you you were I going. feel you had to say that to me. You just with, can't send no invoice and say I I'm charging you. I feel you now. had to say, goddamn, that I wasn't invited. Yeah, that's what he said. We downsizing, so no, but had, but them folks had. That's what you should have said. Invitation. But they were fish. They had to fish for why I ain't invited. Where my invitation? They had to go fishing. So right. if I gotta go fishing, I ain't your motherfucking people. So now you bitch, I'm making the invitations, milk. and you ask me, you tell me you need them by this date, and I'm like, we don't know what the date is. I'm making the invitations. How the fuck I don't know? I'm not. Whatever. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna give you another good example. Hold on. How about this? <laughs> how about this? I'm a, I'm a devil advocate again. There how about you go this? Ring. Nah, nah. This, it's on the same thing. How about it's a it's a woman like you doing it off the credit of the w bride, the mm -hmm. woman, the wife, but. It's oh. a planner who's supposed to be doing this, but she's not getting to that person. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's not getting to the person, like, I need you to tell. Because, you know, the bride ain't really going to be talking to these people. She got, like, that's what the the, the bride's yeah, maids yeah. and all them are for. All the, you know what I'm saying? So the wife is who they doing it for, but it's the bride maids who didn't get back to her. You know what I'm saying? That's like you were here and you got a worker here and the worker didn't get back to you with the information that they had. You know what I'm saying? Sure so you really can't really just jump on it. They might have sent somebody, one of the brides made to tell you, like, we're downsizing. The wife, the wife might not even know. You know what I'm saying? You need to talk directly to the source. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ain't talking directly to the source. I, I can't speak. I've never been through a wedding in the marriage and all that. Yeah, know. man, because the, the, the bride don't do nothing. You know, so she got true, people who great. do it for her. She take her to get the dress. I take get her to what you're saying. Like, it's going. people who doing the moves, who getting the buildings, who doing this and who doing that. Well, Usually coach, the bride coach need to take charge of the team. Ride, though, I'm going to know who I'm Nah, it's her day. Wedding. Yes, so, you heard that. That's what I'm I was just saying. I'm going to know who invited coach to my should take charge of the team. Because there's certain you know, motherfuckers that I got you, you to make one, sure. Yeah, you responsible for the invitation. No, mind you, you going to talk to who you going to talk to. Now, you're going to talk to who you're going to talk to, but at the same time, it's people out here getting the people that you close to. Like, they grabbing them from here and there. Because you don't suppose that ain't part of what you're supposed to be doing for your wedding. 
You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be more people doing the things and putting it together. Like my, you like, okay, I'm gonna tell you like my wedding. When, 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 when I propose, when I propose from that day, my my cousins said, you got a year. We're gonna, we gonna do everything to get you down this aisle because we don't believe you. You know what I'm saying? Basically what they said. They ain't said that way, but that was they were saying like, niggas, I know you, boy. You know what you do. So, you know what I'm saying? They they said gave me a year. It's my female cousin. And they put together everything. Got the people. Man, my daddy showed up. Boy, nigga, I ain't seen that nigga in years. And they they kept it from me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It's moved Shout to out be that nigga J T. His daddy J T. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? So it's moves that everybody making for you that you're not really making no moves. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is get fitted, go over here. But you got to do the, the, the things, the thank yous. You know what I mean? That's your part. Oh, After got, it's over, I'm you gotta got to thank cut the people. Out. Cause if somebody got cut out and they important to me, then I know I need to make that motherfucker. You supposed to make that call. Right? After we said you don't went through a whole to yeah. how to win work work that motherfucker. But Stop. yeah, I'm just saying. So just that and, and get out of hand. Then you should know. Yeah, your people. Know. But right. it be a lot on your mind, man. But I, I never know, been through that. Saying. So you know what I'm saying. But still, I wasn't thinking about nothing. Even, even if I go through that, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm saying, I know that if I go through that, I'm going to make sure that this woman goddamn day is not spoiled by shit. Yes. By nothing. I'm going to have to make sure that I'm in charge of that. I don't want her day spoiled. I don't want her goddamn worry about none of that. No nanny, who doing that? So I'm going to handle that. I'm going to put somebody in charge. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not going to happen. If it do happen, she ain't going to know about it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm because saying? But downsizing and they telling these people, because that might not, not have been a person okay, that downsizing that's cool. I'm that's, but we're gonna take care of everybody that was that we made a, a promise that we know that we made a promise to. Yeah. Or uh, they gonna spend some on us. We're gonna make sure that nobody's mad. But that's gonna guess be hard. What? Guess what? Yeah, you You're should, not gonna think about that at the moment. Now am, when you come back from your honeymoon. I am man. You can't get married. Think about that, bro. Listen, you are crazy. I'm talking to the no, you can't about worry about right. nobody. Listen, listen, one, listen. I ain't one worried about nobody but no. this woman. I ain't want her to listen. I'm get, him. Look here, man. Man, you getting married? You're not gonna think about that till after your marriage, after oh, your honeymoon. Uh, no, you well, shouldn't. Maybe you. I'm saying nah, well, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make sure this woman thing is gonna go perfect like she wanted. No, that's what I'm saying. It ain't about me. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure her day go yeah, perfect because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's her dream. All this barber yeah, dog yeah, shit. It's about this, her. So, it's all so, about her. So all this 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 discrepancy, this shit here about them people there, we're gonna have to take care of them some kind of way. Some kind of way. I ain't gonna even let that get to her. Get back to her. But see, it can't get to you either. Yeah, you gotta yeah. worry about. What see, all the man is gonna handle nah, it? The motherfucker. Nah, you handle it. You gonna handle it. But guess what? That day right there. Ain't nothing going to be on either what? one of no, your minds about it. you going to worry about that when you come back from the honeymoon. Then you'll take wait care of all that. Sir, that didn't happen the day of, did it? No, I was going into it. Okay, right. so, man, I'm going to I'm gonna make sure, goddamn, this shit going to be handled. And it's going to be handled. You ain't going to get her. I'm going to make sure her shit's perfect. If my wedding went you know small, then so I, I know I, who that is. If I had to go on and skin them down and get somebody talk. else and nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't bring this motherfucker. Don't bring any heat around this motherfucking trap with that bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to have to do what I had to do because I don't want this lady on her goddamn wedding. They ain't got damn knee beating or nothing. That. She don't want to do that. I'm going to take care of you signed up. You got to take care of it. I don't okay. see the problem. He ain't your, he ain't your day, nigga. <laughs> oh, ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm My just saying, he ain't your day. It's no. the woman day, so you got to handle that shit. Listen, listen what I'm saying. Oh, you got to put I somebody know. in charge to make sure that's they handle it so it don't even get the hug. That's what I'm saying. The sweat or paint off, you heard me? Exactly. That's what I'm saying because but this they can't the take you though. rattle. Okay, put it this way. Things ain't going right in the background. You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't right, this ain't right, this right. And you going up there, and you, ta you taking care of it. You taking care of everything. You talking about the day of? 
Yeah, I'm talking about coming up to it. Because the stuff was gonna be delivered, they just got married. Hey, they had to have an invoice nigga, after the wedding. My nigga, so it, it got done. My nigga, you you gotta handle it. Got my nigga, you gotta handle that shit. But now they want to charge you for it. Yeah, you gonna it. yeah, but you ain't gonna handle it then. You gonna handle it after no, you. No, 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 man, you no, let that go, sir, bro. No, what I'm saying, no, you. Oh, you talking about you handling it before the wedding? What I'm yeah, saying, yeah, what before. What but I'm talking about the day of the wedding, my nigga. You handle all, if you have any discrepancy to handle that bullshit, then after the wedding, we're going to take our ass to court. But the day before that shit, you, okay, we ain't going to make this day no, okay, you motherfucker say this, you say this, look, because I ain't going to spoil this later day. But see, that's the thing, I'm telling you. I'm saying, listen, bitch, but we're going to, look, but still, even bite my face. Yes. All right, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we're going on her. Now when we come back, now this mm-hmm turn to God now. Off in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, but we might saying. take it to court, but still, we're going to make this happen. There's going to be no flaws. I'm, you, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm flawless. No flaws, hey, period. I understand, you, but see, you, you, listen, no what, I, what I said, I see it in your face is when you come up there, Okay, you get married, and you got the anger or the no. aggression. I mean, it's and hard who? to watch. I mean, because all this skin down, doing no. all this. No. It's, man, because no, you had sir. to work on it. you let all that go. Let me speak you put for, somebody in charge I, of that. I am speaking. You don't want to I am speaking for me. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm in charge. I'm going to put somebody, but ultimately. You can't bring it to it's, them. No, it's my decision. To, I'm going to handle that because I don't give Why a I fuck. Know. Was at, in the wedding and then yeah, 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 no yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna handle that because I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna make sure that she ain't got there and got no stress or nothing. She just well, she, she don't know now. I'm gonna keep none of that shit. Yeah, food don't ain't keep nothing then don't that. send food ain't you know, so she ain't gonna know none of that. I'm gonna handle that shit, bro. Even if I had to handle that shit and we'll. I'm going to see you later at this wedding, motherfucker. You know that one right. Boy, I'm going to see you when we're going to make it him, but you know that one right. Huh? <coughs> I know that one right. Hey, I don't have plenty of events like, motherfucker, you know that one right. But I'm going to make this shit flawless like, woo, after this shit, boy, after this shit happen, mm, yeah, pull this off I'm on your that's, ass. That's the Fuck part out. you don't want to bring to the wedding. But, that, but that still, feeling. I'm not bringing that into the foot walking down the aisle because them people in the aisle ain't doing nothing to me. The preacher ain't right. doing nothing to me. None of them people ain't doing nothing to me. You hear me? Yeah, but I after mean, this shit over, you know what I'm saying? When I see you motherfucker <laughs> after this shit because I'm going to see you again, it's all like popcorn. Hey, yeah, man. I would send the invoice. I would not keep the invitation. I would take them they shit, but yeah. Did they ever get the invitation? It's I don't even think they got it. I don't know. They went searching. I don't know yet. I don't know what date was. Try me like that. So I would give them people they shit. Even though you sent they your invoice, whether they pay that shit or not, that's on them. You not already did the shit, give it to them. But I'm with Jay after that shit. I'm like, y'all, that fucked up. Like, <laughs> yeah, because we feel like we I ain't like, bringing all this me, shit down here and be me. mad at nobody yeah, who ain't yeah, did yeah. shit to me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing okay. nothing. I'm going to come out with regular self, smile at cheese and moonwalk right. down the aisle, Rick Flair. <laughs> ooh, right. ooh, But when, him, uh, when I come back from Hallelujah, I'm coming straight to you. Ooh, 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 <laughs> ooh. Hey. Bitch, I'm going to want my motherfucking goddamn goddamn. Yeah. That's how I go. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. It's better they go out to face somebody else so they can probably fight about it with your ass later. Don't be no crap, though. Send them people they shit you already made it. Mm. You probably don't want to go to their bitch ass wedding anyway. You never know. It could be a blessing in the sky. Exactly. That's my advice. Send them people they shit. But the bride might not ever knew anything. It was the husband's fault if anything happened. Throw the shit away. You do not already made them. Don't be no crap. Just get it to them. It's one more. And be like, fuck them. Nope, I did three, nigga. That was three? Yep. That fast. Oh, man. I was enjoying <laughs> them. I was liking them. Yep. What you can't see, brother? Oh, oh Lord. God, oh, beat us. <laughs> damn, damn. Damn, damn, brother. Do you have that? Nah, beat better. us. <laughs> Who? Nah, beat us. Do you have nah, extreme diabetes? Take a vision, boy. Nah, <laughs>